Hi, I'm Brandon with MicroQuest, and today I'm going to take you through our new patient portal and patient messaging functionality within HealthQuest. Uh, to start with, I've logged into HealthQuest as a physician, and you'll see that we actually do have a new patient messaging tab here on the appointment list. Uh, this will show you any uh, messages that have come in that you can deal with as a physician that have been signed to you. Uh, at the sidebar as well, you might notice that we have a patient messaging option here, and clicking that will show you any new conversations that come in. But before we get to that, we're going to take you through inviting patients in and showing how they can initiate messages. So if we go to the client card and we want to invite a specific patient, we'll use Aaron Hendricks here. You'll see there's a new link here at the top that says send patient portal invite. Uh, this will show up as long as they have an email address, which we have here. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then you are given by default a conversation message that will invite the patient. It has uh, their patient name, clinic name, uh, the invite information, all that kind of stuff that you'd expect. This can be customized, but we have one that is well formatted and everything right off the bat. So I'm just simply going to click send here and that will send the message off to Aaron. You'll see you get the email successfully. And then if we pop over to Aaron's email here, you'll see that we actually do have this invite sitting right here. And if we click on that, she can have the option here to sign up for that patient portal. That's what the, uh, the patients themselves will see. So clicking that sign up for patient portal link will bring us into the patient portal where they have to verify their information. This does have to match the information on the client card. So we'll do Erin Hendricks here. Her PHN is 25660. And then her date of birth is 1998. Uh, December 25, she is a Christmas baby do that and we'll just generate a password for her. Uh, it does have to be a strong password and we can give some hints and stuff there but uh, everyone's pretty used to those kind of things these days and of course the terms of service just simply agree to those and we will register. The patient is now into it and they will be presented with this uh, this window here. Now this does work off of mobile devices so they can use their phone or their tablet uh, as well as of course a desktop computer. Uh, clicking messages here at the side will allow us to create a new message and I patients are always presented with this disclaimer, this disclaimer, excuse me, whenever a message, um, they try to create a new message. You can customize this within HealthQuest, I can show you afterwards, but uh, for the moment, we do have a default one that just simply states that it's non-emergency communication. If we click OK there, um, they do have the option of choosing the location if you have multiple sites within HealthQuest, and then they simply compose it very much like an email. So here we're going to ask for a resend um, requisition, and just say, can you, and they can write anything of course that they want in here and send that message off. That is now sent off to the clinic and if I flip back to HealthQuest you're going to see that uh, on our side here we have one patient message that's come in. If I click that button It'll be in here. I'm just looking at the closed ones. Any new ones, you can see it's unassigned, and here's that message from Aaron. Clicking on that, it will show our message here. Can you please resend it? You can assign that to a specific doctor or employee within the clinic. We'll choose Dr. Bonner here. Uh, and then he can simply reply. So he'll reply to that and say, of course, please see attached. And click that attachment button. This will give you everything off of Aaron's chart. So if I go to forms here, we can grab this Dynalife requisition, we can add that in, we'll save that, we'll just take a second to generate that PDF, and then it's going to give you just a preview there. You can attach multiple things to it, of course, anything from the patient's chart can be attached into these messages. We'll hit attach PDF at the bottom, it says attachment pending, and we'll send that off. And there we go, that gets sent off. Now from the patient side, they'll actually receive an email notification that they have a new message there. But since we're already logged in, we'll go back into our messages and we'll see here is that conversation. Of course, please see attached, download attachment. You know, they click that link. Uh, they just have to save that somewhere on their computer or if they're using their phone, it'll just pop up, of course. Hit, click that and voila, there is that attachment. So, you know, they can respond back if they're needed. Say, thank you. Send that off. Away we go. Again, that'll come, that information comes back in here. And then if the doctor or whomever at the clinic is fine, they can close that conversation. And it just does warn you that you won't be able to send any, or any messages or anything, either you or the, the 
patient. So you click yes there and the conversation is closed. If you check off the closed option, you'll see any previous messages and conversations that are in there and can always reference them back. Um, these are also linked into the patient's chart. If I open that up here in HealthQuest, go to the charting window, let that load. Here it goes. Uh, we can go into the patient messaging tab. We'll see that resend one there and you can see that whole conversation. So everything is always, always, always linked within there. Um, one other nice thing you can do within HealthQuest as well is from you know the print button here in charting, if there's something that you want, like a scan document or prescription or whatever, anything from their chart, you can have this option here to send through patient portal. Uh, when you hit print there, it'll give you the option to then send that or attach it into, into a conversation. You can create new conversations right off the bat as well. If I click that here, I'll quickly show you. Back to HealthQuest, it's gonna give us the information. So if right here it says, create a new conversation and attach or attach to existing conversation, which we don't have any because they're all closed at the moment, but you can do either one. So you do have that option to be able to send stuff from there. Um, you can do that from letters and other areas within, the, within HealthQuest as well. So kind of neat, um, it gives you that virtual care conversation within the patient and uh, everything is secured and stored nicely within HealthQuest itself. Um, one thing to quickly look at, I mentioned the disclaimer. So if you go into program setup here, and I believe that is under patient portal right here. So admin patient portal, uh, you can change the disclaimer right here and just set up the information. So for example, if I put boardwalk clinic in here, that'll start appearing on that portal and let us do uh, um, just show up where needed. And of course, change that disclaimer as necessary. So that can all be done right there. The other thing I wanted to quickly walk through is just doing mass invites. Of course, doing one patient at a time is nice, but that's going to take a long time. So if you use the uh, statistics client list manager, you can actually send invites to a mass group of, of patients. So I have one here, that's the Dr. Bonner panel. Uh, and that was generated using the queries button and then building out a, a panel one here where I simply have the default doctor is Dr. Bonner. So when I run that query, it's gonna give me the, all the patients and then you can use that query for a list. That'll pull it all back in here. And I have them all here and you can see all, all the patients with these emails. Now you can individually select ones that you want and click send email. Or if you've got some selected and you click up at the top here, you can select the entire list and send email. And what that'll do is it'll give you the option here to do your patient portal invite. And you can see it says 205 emails. That's for all of those individual patients. So if you've got that there, you click OK. It will invite all of those patients. They're all gonna receive that same email that we saw for Aaron Hendricks there. Uh, and can click sign up and start uh, sending messages to the clinic. Um, the other nice thing with using the queries is that you can very specifically um, filter things down to whatever you want. You know, I used example Dr. Bonner here. You can choose specific date ranges, like for birth dates or uh, ages, genders, if you wanted. You can do it based off of, you know, chart notes that they've got, if they're on a specific medication, forms, et cetera, et cetera. There's all kinds of options there. That's a little out of scope for this video, but uh, you can really narrow that down to a specific list of patients if you want, and, and then just invite those ones in. So. Um, anyway, hopefully that is helpful. Uh, we just wanted to give a quick, quick overview of how the new patient portal and patient messages works. Um, and uh, this will be out and available to all of our clients very soon. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 1-866-438 3762 and you can speak with anybody in client services or technical support uh, or you can always email us as well at support s-u-p-p-o-r-t at microquest m-i-c-r-o-q-u-e-s-t dot c-a thanks and uh, have a good day